Welcome back to the Fox News Specialist. Our specialistas today are Jason Chaffetz and Ruben Navarrete. Let's continue the conversation because it may be a miracle we're all still here. Why? A new scientific report says the Earth's sixth mass extinction event is already well underway, calling it the biggest such event since an asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. So if you're not watching this show from a bunker, you might want to find one in quick. So let's take a look at the mass devastation currently taking place across the country. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> How will we ever rebuild? The apes will soon rule the Earth. Wait, hang on. Things are actually fine. We're all fine, which is more than what could be said for that scientific report. It says three quarters of all species on the planet could disappear in the coming centuries because if there's one thing people can do, it's predicting exactly what will happen centuries from now. And what do these scientists actually say is driving the so-called mass extinction event? Quote, human overpopulation and overconsumption by the rich. Of course, it should be all, we should all be out buying food and ammo right now. Or is this the most absurd piece of environmentalist garbage we've seen yet? Ebony, you okay? Are you going to run out and buy one of those Let me make uh, sure everything, doomsday bunkers? I think all is good. Um, They're pretty cool, though, those bunkers. Those, I've actually seen a couple bunkers when I was in <laughs> Israel. I saw some very cool bunkers. Um, but no, I mean... Look, I totally think that we can be as we should be as responsible uh, as we can be when it comes to our, our planet. But this type of sensationalism, Eric, I mean, it just—I think it undermines legitimate causes for Cat sure. Plus, I love sixth mass extinction event yeah. well underway. I love overconsumption. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Overconsume oh, of <laughs> all the good things. Look, this study also said that the main problem or the main reason for it is it's overpopulated. We already have people writing op-eds saying, oh, to have fewer kids. There's too many people. I'm sorry, but come on. When you start saying something like that, I can't imagine someone having the decision between having or not having a child and saying, oh, but the baby's carbon footprint. Well, not I mean, to mention, not to mention this, cat. our generation, the millennials, we actually are not having kids very much at all. Um, yeah, I haven't done really it. Bad. Yeah. No, neither <laughs> one of them. We're 0 for 0. Let yeah. me bring Ruben, Ruben, do you think there's a chance this has something to do with being able to secure some money for funding of research of uh, overpopulation I think and over there's a chance. I think there's a hint of that. I think that the climate control folks, this is, they've developed their own religion around this. I'm interested in the fact that there are so many debates in America, issues we can debate. This is an issue where they won't debate, where there seems to be no debate, where they're trying to cut off the debate. Uh, and it has become this kind of religion. But don't look at me. You know, in 2016, my electoral choices were so bad between Trump and Clinton that I like the bumper sticker said, Meteor 2016, let's end it already. Let's get it over with. Right, and if they right, hadn't right. kept the Meteor out of the debates, it would have won. Jason, weigh in on this uh, look, prediction of 100 years down the road. They, they can't even tell you what the weather is going to be like on Sunday. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on, give me a break. And I've been always kind of been in the camp that I thought Al Gore has always been a farce. So well, wait, that's he, my starting point. Didn't he predict this, this very city was going to be underwater uh, two it, years what ago? What he's preaching was all about him making money. Yeah. And I, go, I think right? that there's things we can do. But at the same time, I don't think that those things are government regulations that don't necessarily do much good, but create a lot of problems of their own. Yeah, it's a big earth. You know, us little people on the earth that tend to be dwarfed by the, the big earth itself. Also giving environmentalists heart palpitations today, an iceberg roughly the size of Delaware has broken away from western Antarctica, and the runaway iceberg, which weighs more than one trillion tons, is more than 600 feet thick, is running the risk of floating into the area frequented by cruise ships from South America. Now, Kat, I can wrap my brain around that kind of risk. Get out That's of my, a little scary. Get out of the way want, my cruise ship. Yeah, you ever hear the story of the Titanic? It didn't go well. <laughs> didn't end well? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, uh, so, so, you know, the temperatures vary, Jason. Yeah, they, but they, they have rise, for... They fall. They... Mm -hmm. But it, the weather have, changes. Yeah, I mean, for eons. And, and that's my whole point. Yes, what we throw into our water, what we throw up in the air, it'll have an effect. But throughout eons of time, when there were no people here, the weather was still changing. The earth is moving. It's, the weather changes every day. And, and uh, Ebony, I, I'm not going to say that, that the, the planet may not be warming, but I'm not positive that we can, we can definitely prove that it's, it's humans causing the warming, right. and we can do anything about it at this point. Right. Well, nothing's conclusive. I think in terms of what we can do about it, again, just operate in good faith. You know what I'm saying? I personally don't need to see a conclusion to know, don't lit like simple stuff. Yeah, you don't, don't run litter. Garbage. Yeah, you don't do stuff <laughs> don't like that. Don't throw garbage in the street. Mainly because we don't know, to your point, Eric, if it makes things better, but we certainly know that if we, if we do it, it, it can make things worse. And we lose nothing by just being responsible. Now, Ruben, one of the main drivers of methane gas... Uh, 
is is cow flatulence. Right. You know that what are we gonna kill off all the cows now? Is that what we're supposed yeah, to do? Yeah, I come from farm country in Central California. That would not go over well. You know, and I like steak, so you no, like your steak, you like your milk, like you like your filet. cheese. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it hard to uh, to do a dairy industry around that. But uh, you know, if you really want to kill the dairy industry, get rid of the cows or get rid of the immigrants who are working on the dairies. Ooh. Well, Reuben went there, did he? Uh, 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 uh. I was going to say, maybe the dinosaurs would still be here if they'd only seen more Al Gore movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's probably the problem. No. You're good? Come on. We should I'm all good. be responsible individually. We all agree on that. Yeah. All right.